At six, in June, a Van Buren County jury convicted a young man of murdering a 64-year-old woman by intentionally hitting her with his car. He was later sentenced to spend the rest of his life in prison. We're trying to stay ahead of the curb um, like everybody. The criminals are changing with the times just like law enforcement are. When 64-year-old Melody Rohrer was reported missing by her husband after going jogging near the Oak Shores campground in Decatur back in September 2021, it was quick thinking investigators and technology that solved the case. As soon as Rohrer was reported missing, investigators wrote out a subpoena for her phone, unaware of what it would reveal. The subpoena showed that Rohrer's SIM card or subscriber identity module had been taken out of her phone and placed into a phone owned by this man, 31-year-old Colby Delia Martin. Technology was able to paint a picture of Martin's alleged mindset at the time of the crime, despite him later saying that he accidentally hit Rohrer with his vehicle, investigators found he had made numerous online searches related to necrophilia and sexual assault. I think he was driving around looking for a victim. And unfortunately, she happened to be in a desolate area um, and he was able to commit the crime right there. He would be charged with murder, accused of hitting and killing her on purpose, Eventually, he would admit to hiding her body in the Three Rivers State Game Area. It was the detective's knowledge of and access to specialized technology that helped convince jurors that this was a premeditated murder, not an accident. This video contains the interrogation of a man who intentionally hit and killed a jogger. 64-year-old retired nurse Melody Rohrer loved to jog and did so as much as weather permitted. On September 20th, 2021, Rohrer went jogging, even though it was a bit cloudy. She was wearing a bright yellow raincoat and white hat for visibility. This only made her a target for Colby Martin, who had been waiting for just such an opportunity. The road was clear of witnesses, so he took his chance and struck Rohrer with his truck. Once he had loaded her in the back, he took her body to another location to commit unspeakable acts. And Colby, you and I didn't talk about this, so I, I want to bring it up to you now. What brought it? I can you probably have an idea why we've made contact with you today. Um, just a little bit of history about that, since I haven't told you anything yet, but I think it's fair for you to know that yesterday uh, we got this. We got called down around the Decatur area. Do you know where that's at? I mean, I, I mean, I know the name, but I don't know. Okay. Do you are you do you frequent Van Buren County much or what? No, I mean. You just do your thing, then I'll tell you the story. Okay, okay. So it's just... Okay. Um, why don't you just tell me the story, then? Just tell me, okay, let me get see with some time. Well, I mean, I was at work, and then so my mom was sick, so they were like, okay. we're medical, you know, so they were like, well, maybe you shouldn't be here. Did you mind have COVID or something? Or well, what? her cousin had COVID, so she okay. was around her, so they just were being cautious. Mm -hmm. So I didn't want to go home, so I was just driving around, and I got lost. So I was just, you know, driving, mm -hmm. and then it was foggy out on that morning, and it came out of nowhere. What came out of nowhere? The lady. Okay. And I tried to miss her, but I couldn't. Then I just got scared. Mm -hmm. Didn't know what to do. I should have So what happens after you after you hit her? What's up? Okay. I mean, like I just got scared and left. Did you leave her there? I put her on in the back. In the back of the truck. Do you know if it she just was? Sounds so fucking no, I'm listen, like, I'm not, I'm not a bad person. Or, or, I don't think Kyle and I neither one of us said that. Well, I just me. the situation. This looks like. I'm a fucking psycho. No, we, we neither one of us has said that, have we? No, no. Nope. Never say that. But listen, I bet you'd be surprised how many people would tell you that, and we're not going to say that. Martin is nervous about what the detectives think about him, and that they are most likely lying when they try to reassure him. Was she? Do you think she was still alive when after you hit her? She wasn't. Okay. 
So from that point, where did you where did you go? Just went back down to where we were at. Well, I mean, I just did you drive right, right to there? Yeah. Okay. I don't know why. I just. Are you I'm familiar with that area? Down there a little bit. Okay. I'm just scared. I don't know. I don't know why. Mm -hmm. Did um, do you have any idea what she was wearing? No. Rora was wearing a bright yellow raincoat, which would have been almost impossible to miss. And correct me if I'm wrong, it did some significant damage to your truck, right? Is that all from just striking her, or did you hit something else? No, I hit a deer the other day. Oh, you did hit a deer? So it's all like black. Oh, okay. Do you know how long ago that was that you hit the deer? Sunday, Saturday or Sunday. Okay. Did you report it at all or not? No. Okay. You know where where it happened at? Just a rough idea. I was like, oh, I was like around Texas Corners. Okay. You know so Saturday or Sunday, a little rough trip, Texas Corners. Okay. All right. You don't know what road it was on though. No, I don't even know the name of it. it was just... So let's go back to. Um, I mean, I don't know if the deer died or not. Okay, that's okay. Um, so after you, you struck this lady, um, you put her in the bed of your pickup truck. And then, what's going through your mind at this time? I don't even know what the fuck going on. Like, like it just didn't seem real. Okay. And you're not familiar with that area down there, no, is that no, correct? No, that's why I was lost. I was just okay. like, driving, trying to get to a main highway. Mm -hmm. Okay. I shouldn't be doing that. And so I'm familiar with the area. It's a foggy out, yeah. right? And is there any other traffic on the road that you remember? I didn't see much. Maybe some tractors. And is the the vehicle that you struck her with, is that the one that we found you at a Walmart? Is that yeah. one and the same? Okay. Now, that state park, that is, you is that close to your home down there? A little bit. Okay. Had you ever been down in that area before? Yeah, like when I was a kid. Okay. So, you know, like I said, I'm just trying to get no, to I, just what's going on here. You, you got her in the bed of the pickup truck. You know she's, she's just dead, right? From probably from the impact, you hadn't you hadn't been drinking alcohol. Did you drink at all? Okay, okay. Hadn't been doing drugs. Mm -hmm. Okay. All right. Do you use any drugs or anything like that? Smoke like weed. Okay. Had you smoked any when you were? No. Okay. So we know you weren't drinking. No. We know you weren't under the influence of drugs, right? No. Unfamiliar with the area. Foggy. And when this. When you're driving down the road, let's let's say this is the roadway, okay? Mm -hmm. And these these are the shoulders. Do you know where she would have been standing at when you came upon her? I feel like I was more. I don't know. I thought I was like more in the middle because the road was yeah a shitty road, mm -hmm. you know. Yep. I mean, she was on the right side, obviously. This side? No, my side. Oh, she was on the driver's side. I mean, I was go I was like this way. Which way? Which way do you think you were heading? To um, east or west? Do you know. And I, and I know that without you knowing that area very well, which it would be easy for us to know east from west from there. We. Um, you know any landmarks? Do you remember anything about where you were at? I just remember like going down like a hill. Okay. It was like really. Did you, did you go through Decatur? Not sure. Okay. So, yeah, that's okay. We're just trying to figure out. Down here is a T. There's this road. There's a road that goes off here, and then this goes here, and then it curves around. There's a public access right here, a lake. And the, the accident happened right in this area. But there's a T intersection here, and there's a farm here. Do you remember passing that farm at all? So do you think maybe do you think you possibly could be heading west or I like I said I don't want to put words in your maybe, mouth. Maybe I think about it probably west. Maybe heading that way. Probably. Okay. And then sh driving in the middle of the roadway because it's one of those hilly, bumpy roads. Yeah. Okay. And where do you think she was at lo when you came upon her? Was like she down. in the roadway? Yeah. Okay. How far into the road? If this is the center line, probably like not in the dirt, but yeah, next sure. like, you know. Say like that's the dirt. Yeah. Mm -hmm. She was kind of like, okay. 
So, so in the travel lane is what you're thinking? Yeah. Okay. What, now, once you hit her, do you lose control or anything like that? No. Okay. Do you come to a stop? Uh, well, I'm assuming you come to a stop because you said you put her in there. Did you, did you check her for signs of life? I tapped her and I said, asked her if she was okay. And so mm -hmm. she didn't say anything. Okay. So I freaked out. Yep. During an accident, a certain amount of panic and poor decision making isn't uncommon, especially when a person knows that they are guilty to some extent. In most cases, when someone strikes a pedestrian with no witnesses, the perpetrator drives away. All Martin had to do was call 911. Putting her into the bed of his truck would have been awkward, and there was no reasonable excuse for doing so. So when you you got her in the back of the pickup truck. Did you cover her with anything once you put her in the back of the pickup truck? I had like a towel, a blanket. Okay. Were you, did you put that over the top of her? Yeah. They didn't blow off when you drive down the road? When I got down there, it did. It didn't blow off of the pickup truck? I didn't know where it went. Though. Okay. So somewhere alongside the roadway is the blanket? Probably. You know what color blanket it is by chance? It was a green. Green blanket. Was it a heavy blanket or a light blanket? Like a wait, put it like on a couch. Okay. You know, like a throw maybe or kinda like that. Okay. Um, so you covered her was that blanket at one time inside the truck and you took it out and put it over the back? Yeah, this is like an extra okay. sitting there. All right. This sounds so fucking stupid though. Listen, you were the only one that could tell us what happened out I there. I know, but I just you know? sound dumb. Like Tell me tell me why what sounds dumb. I should have just fucking called you guys and stopped being so scared, right? Yeah, I agree. I agree. And then I believe that's why you wanted to tell us. Martin is using the excuse of being afraid and embarrassed in the hope that the detectives will take it at face value and consider the case a hit and run. What happened? Is that yeah, right? I'm not an effort, so oh, so you're yes. doing the right thing now? Yeah, you are. You're getting a, a story out yeah. there. Yeah. You want people to know your side of the story, what happened out there, that this wasn't. You tracked this lady down, you, you stalked her, right? right, you know? And by you telling Kyle and I what happened out there, we've got the story of what happened. Because otherwise, we wouldn't know, yeah. you know? I just feel bad, it's really bad. Um, I believe you. You know, I'm sure you did not do this on purpose. No. And you didn't know this lady, right? I did just lost. <laughs> yeah. So... You're, you're driving, do you know where you're going to go with her? Or you, or no, I was just scared. I didn't. Okay. Did, um, so, once you can, the, the, somewhere between where you hit her and where you uh, placed her, the blanket fell out or blew out of the truck? Yeah. Okay. Did you take all back roads over to there, or did you get you back on like I-94 or any main highways or anything like that? I think I got like a um, Highway, like 60. 62, I think it was that we came. Or, 60 that runs between Marcellus and. I mean, I might have been on there. I don't know what the fuck. Okay, I, I just was wondering, you know. Um, so when you got down there, that back road, is that when you just decided this is where I'm going to put her? Yeah, I just didn't. I was like, it's, I can't tell you guys now. I was too late. Like, you probably, do you think he would have come forward sooner or later? I mean, I mean. I thought about it this morning. Yeah. I decided, like, I can't just let her do that. Like, right. It's fucked up. I'm not like that. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, believe you. How long did you drive around for? I mean, like, how long? I mean, You did work for a while that morning. Do you know how, what time you're supposed to show up for work? I go to work at 6. 6 o'clock. Do you know what time you punched out or anything like that? I think I left around like 7.30 maybe. Okay. 7. And then that's when you just start cruising around after yeah, that? I was like, I don't want to go home here. Okay. okay. I suppose it's in radio. And I just want to confirm, you're not familiar with this part of the thing? Yeah, no. Okay. All right. I didn't grow up around here or anything like that. All right. Did you? 
just go home or feeling sick? Why'd you leave work? Because then they, it was my mom was sick, and then they were like, well, should they? I see. I got you. Because of COVID or whatever. Mm -hmm. Your mom was sick. Yeah. Did they want you to come back to work today, or did they want you to stay away? Like, take the whole week off. Oh, okay. All right. Okay. They pay you at least for your time off, or? So, which, um, once you put her in there, did, did her clothes or anything fall off of her? I didn't and I'm just asking you, just, just to the best of your knowledge, I mean, because, you know, Kyle and I didn't go up there where you, where you pointed her out to us. Martin tries to evade the questions about Roar's clothing. That is the last line he wants their investigation to focus on. I don't know. I didn't really, you know what I mean? Like, I was just... Shot. You didn't take them off of her, though, right? No. Okay. All right. Just have to ask. Yeah. All right. And then tell me about her her cell phone. I didn't see the cell phone. How did her SIM card get put into your cell phone? My SIM card? Her SIM card put into your cell phone. How? I don't know. That's what we're asking you. That's how we're able to locate who you were. Remember, I didn't tell you anything about this. I'm bringing it up to you now. Oh. Yeah, that's how we were able to develop you as a person of interest is because your two phones were moving together and and uh, mirroring off each other. And then the information was that her SIM card was put into your phone, but that's not the case. I don't, I didn't take it out. Okay. I don't even have like a push button now. Okay. I don't have to get my own. Mm -hmm. And I like, no, I didn't take it out though. I don't know. Do you remember what you, what you did with her cell phone? I didn't think it was in her pocket. I don't know. I, I didn't see her phone, her phone though. Okay. All right. So maybe her phone might still be with her? I, I don't know. Okay. I didn't you see, didn't do I anything with her phone. Okay. I didn't want to look. I don't okay. want to see anything. Okay. So what you, now, when you drop her off, how long, how long did you say you were driving around for after this? Terrible accident happened. It wasn't very long. Let's see, hour or so. Okay. You you don't uh, you put her there, and then where do you go from there? Home. You went home. Did you stay home for the rest of the day after that? Yeah. Never left mom and dad's. Did your did your mom and dad see your truck? Yeah. Did they ask you about it at all or not? Well, I had a beer. Okay. Now, you had some damage, you said, already to the truck, right, from uh, over the weekend? But I didn't see it then. Okay. What did mom and dad say when they saw all the damage to your truck? Said, oh, shit, that's not good. Yeah. Now, do you have full coverage on your vehicle where you were able to get it fixed or that? I mean, I called, but I don't know about it at all. You call, did you call them after you hit the deer? Well, I have my dad do it. Okay, your dad did? Okay. So your dad would have reported... Probably the beginning of the week, the the car the car deer accident. Yeah. Okay. Do you know who your car insurance is through? I think all state. Yeah. Is that on your dad's policy? Well, I think it's mine, but I don't know. Okay. All right. Okay. Um. So you stay, once you get back home, you stay there all day, and then what time do you get up this morning? Four. Yeah, four. Okay, four o'clock in the morning. <coughs> and then where do you go from there? Oh, well, because I didn't tell about taking out work, so I just, that's why I was... Oh, you didn't tell your mom and dad you were off work? Yeah. Okay, yeah, so they thought you were off. Day. Yeah. <coughs> so where did you get it off to at four? So, well, I mean, I don't, I just wake up at four. Okay. And I leave around like five. Mm -hmm. Then I like a breakfast. Well, I need to get breakfast the other day. Then with Meyer, took a nap. Which Meyer did you go to? Oh, the one on Westage there? Southwest, uh, there's two on Westage. There's one down by Center and Shaver. And there's yeah, one up by 94. Shaver. That one? <coughs> so this morning, that's where you would have went to as soon as you got, got up this morning? You yeah, put them I, right I, I just went there and I just took them down. Okay. Did you stop anywhere between your mom, your mom and dad's and Meyer until you took your nap? Speedway, I got gas. Okay. I mean, cigarettes. 
which speedway was that? The one is that the one down there by there? Old school craft. All right. So, mom and dad's to speedway and school craft. Got cigarettes, and then from school craft to Myers. Yeah. And how long do you think you slept at Myers? I mean, I kind of was long because I went from there to Walmart. Okay, so there, there was from that waking up at that spot. That's when you went to Walmart. Then, do you know how long you were at that Walmart before we not talked to you? Okay, five minutes maybe. Okay, not very long at all. Okay, so you might have crashed and slept at. It sounds like at Myers there on. Spring over a water that down there on Southwest. Well, I need to get like groceries, but I was just trying to. Did you go into Myers at all or not? Okay. Pretty much just, just stay out in your truck in the parking lot? Yeah. Okay. All right. So, were you just really, did you, you bust out of slept well last night? Is that why you're sleeping at both Myers and then at Walmart? Yeah. Tell me what's going through your mind today. My life's over. The detectives haven't even started to ask Martin the hard questions, yet he knows that he is going to be charged with manslaughter at the very least. Why do you think that? Because I have to live with that for now. Okay, but don't yeah. you think what you're doing it by coming forward well, and by coming to Kyle and I or us when we're out there, you know, you, I mean, how am I going to get a job now and all that shit? Everybody, this is not the end of the world. You made a mistake. If I started getting my shit together and now mm -hmm. I'm back. Tell, tell me about how you get your shit. What, what happened? Did something happen in your life before that? Well, I just was, started a divorce and shit. Okay. Like, that was hard and mm -hmm. my son was taking it hard. And yeah. Divorces are hard. Very not before that though. Did, did you have a nice steady job? I mean, you're okay. you're. I was at I worked at the paper mill for eight years. Okay, so you had a good good job, probably insurance, you know, benefits yeah, and stuff, right? And yeah. then they laid us off every group that came. Which paper mill was that one? In the White Pigeon. Okay. And then I went to that place. I still. So you're still trying to work. I mean, you. you you wanted to keep working, not work out, just live off of no, uh, no, unemployment no, no, no. and all that stuff. Okay. Kids. What What do you think? And if you don't mind me asking, what What was the downfall of the marriage? I mean, did those guys we, just fell out of love with each other, or just we had miscarriage, and then <clears throat> we just I so, wasn't support like you know I wasn't there for. That's hard. Should have been. Was this your would have been your third child then? The lap yeah. after the three year old. How long ago did that happen? Two years. Okay. How far along was she? First trimester, how long it was. Okay. So it was difficult for both of you. Yeah. Were you looking forward to having three kids? Yeah. They're trying to find out if there's some recent event that may have triggered Martin's actions, or if this is something he has always been hiding beneath the surface. You love your kids, I can tell. How you still feel about your your ex? You still have feelings for her? Yeah. About her feelings back for you? You don't think so? Well, not now. Well, she doesn't know about this. Well, she gonna find out. She, she doesn't know about this. Well, that's what's gonna be on the paper. She doesn't know about this. You know. You know. Were you, were you guys trying to reconcile it all, or not? Or she has she moved on? I think. I mean, I have a girlfriend. She has oh, you do? Okay. I mean, I have a girlfriend now, but... You do have one right now? I don't know if I will now. <laughs> who's, the, who's, who's the latest lady in your life? My name's Taylor. Taylor? You mind me ask what Taylor's last name is? I don't talk to her, I just wonder. Cal, Cal, Cassil, C-O-L, L-W. C-A-L, L-W. Is she from around here? Or? Big Rapids. Big, Big Rapids? Like way up north? Well, you guys have a long distance relationship. Well, How's that work out for you? We were getting ready to get an apartment. Up there or down here? Like, we're going to try to meet halfway. Mm -hmm. She has a kid too. And okay. That's tough. How old's her kid? 
30. Kobe, I think this this was a horrible thing to happen, horrible accident. Um, you know, it, it speaks volumes whether you want to believe it or not. Uh, for you coming forward and telling us what happened, okay, and to tell us where we could find her. You know, did you or did you not feel a sense of relief once you said that? Oh, I mean, I'm glad so. She's not just laying there. Right. You family can have her, but mm -hmm. I just feel yeah. so bad. Like I, I, I'll, I'll be honest with you. I don't think anybody's a winner in this. I think I feel sorry for you, and I feel sorry for them. You know, you know just that's why they call them accidents. You know, if, if this would have been totally different, if I was like a call, that would have made it right. Fucking different. Yeah. It's, right. But we didn't. Like, so I never. I don't know. I was so scared. I didn't know. Yeah. Yeah. Have you ever, and besides the, the deer accident, have you ever been in an accident before? <coughs> and you, how, how old are you? I'm sorry. 28. Oh. So you've been driving for about 12 years. Yeah. Yeah. So you knew that you had to report an accident if you were involved in one, right? Oh, I didn't think about that. Is that what I mean? Especially if somebody's hurt. Well, no, yeah, I yeah. Mean, yeah. I don't. It's not like I was trying to hide. I don't know. Mm -hmm. I'm just. Do you believe that? And I, I like I said, I think I already asked this question. Do you think you would have came forward before we made contact with you? Tell us what happened. Or try to find a way to right something. Mm -hmm. I wasn't just gonna leave her there. Right. Yeah. No. I just was scared, and I just. Mm -hmm. That's why I don't know. It doesn't make it right. Well, we did have some, I did not see, you know, you pointed her, her location out to Kyle, and I didn't go up there and take a look at her, but the, the detective from the state police that did walk up there, he did have concerns about the way she was undressed, okay, and that's why oh, she Kyle undressed. just... Martin immediately acts shocked by the state of Roar's dress, as if it was something that happened after he disposed of her body. And it could be from pulling her out of the vehicle or something like that, okay? I just wanted to make sure that we were on the same page, yeah. That's fucked up. Yeah. You know. So, um, Kyle? Uh, I'm kind of a details guy. Okay, yeah. yeah. So, um, I appreciate you guys for telling us. I really do. You're doing the righteous thing. Yeah. Now. Mm -hmm. um, we're going to work through this it's a hurdle yeah it is but we're going to work through it mm -hmm. we're going to get you through this and uh but i'm more of a details person <laughs> um days of talk around <laughs> so um anyway i was just wondering if we could go through a little bit more detail step by step of kind of what happened and um make sure that we have the dates and the times correct <laughs> so stuff like that i'm sorry guys and uh just some of those details all right do you mind if we I'm do that and do just okay some. So, when exactly did you strike this lady? I have no idea. I mean, do you remember if it was what what day it was? On well, yesterday. Yesterday. Okay. And do you remember about what time of day? Maybe eight-ish, like in our land or so. Okay. Okay. And um, can you describe the weather for me? So it was hazy, foggy. It wasn't raining though. Oh, wait, it was raining on and off, I think. On and off, right? I think so. Okay. So it went out. It was <coughs> so, um, you're driving. Were you texting or anything? Mm -hmm. Was there any anything like that going on in the car? You weren't smoking anything. You said you didn't no. smoke weed or anything yesterday, but um, so you weren't under the influence no, I wasn't of, doing anything. of anything. Because it's at work. Yeah. And then, you know, well, I mean, it was just, you had the day off, so after that. Yeah, but I mean, I just left like an hour before that. Okay. So I thought, yeah, I just know I wasn't doing anything. Mm -hmm. Okay. And then. I'm texting. Okay. All right. And um, <clears throat> so you're just driving along, and then can you. I think I was a little bit, the road was bumpy. Yep. I just remember, like, you know, bouncing a little bit, you know. Sure. And, 
just like me because I don't even know like where I'm at. What did you see? Fog and then right last minute she appeared. Okay. What did she look like? Just a cloud and all I didn't even see her. Do you remember colors or anything or I thought she had something yellow on. Okay. But that's the only thing I can think of. I mean, I didn't. She was wearing so something yellow? I think. I mean, like, that's what I, like, it looked like when I was driving, a, a yellow figure. Okay. All right. Um, anything else? I mean, not. Okay. I don't think so. Like, what? <coughs> well, what are you looking for? <coughs> I, I'm just trying to get you to describe what you saw. Yeah, I mean, it was just happened so fast, though, like, yeah. she came out there, there was nothing there, and then okay. she was there. And do you remember where at on your vehicle she would have hit? I was assuming, like, I assume in the middle. Middle? No. Which I thought it would have been, like, the side, because I tried to turn last minute, but, I mean, okay. probably wasn't that much time. Okay. So after you <clears throat> hit her, what happened next? I stopped. Okay, did you? Got out, went up to her, ran out to her. Where was she at? Ran on the side of the road. Okay, do you think she was on the paved part or somewhere else? I think she was more in the grass, in the but grass. like close to the road. Okay. And then I went up to her, asked her, like, hey, are you okay? Mm -hmm. And then I tell. Was there any response no. from her at all? Okay. All right. Um, where at on her body did you check? Touched her shoulder. I, I mean, I like pushed on her shoulder, moved her. And she didn't do anything. And I asked her if she's okay. And she didn't do anything. Okay. Um, were her eyes open or shut? Do you remember? I can't even remember. Can you remember her position? Was she up? She was laying on her, like, <coughs> on her side. On her side. And um, what was her clothing? Since she had like jogging clothes on, like, you know, like workout clothes, maybe, okay. like shorts and. Although earlier Martin stated that he didn't know what Rohrer was wearing, he is now able to give a fairly detailed description of her clothing. Sure. Okay. You remember the color of those? No, I don't know. Okay. All right. Um, was there anything else? laying around or near her? I didn't see anything. Okay. All right. Do you remember um, where you stopped at? Where your vehicle stopped? <clears throat> I mean, I think I was still, I was like in the dirt, whatever, when I pulled over. Okay. So not on the paved part? Yeah, I mean, I, mean, I just probably pulled over. Pulled over on the yeah, side. Yeah, I went on the other road. Okay. Um, so back up just a little bit. What did you said you swerved to the right? Well, I think I no, I mean, I, I, mean, I just tried to go like, I seen something. To like, avoid, so I, yeah, yeah. Instinct, you know. Okay, so correct me if I'm wrong. Did you stay on the road or you went no, off the I road? No, I stayed on the road. I didn't turn right. I went <clears throat> left because I was going this way. Yeah. You know, and then she was walking right in my lane. So I tried to go you towards. I mean, I was, that's where I was trying to go. To the opposite way, but okay. You know what I mean, and then what? And then she got a hit, and then I stopped, and I got out, ran up to her. She said you stopped in the dirt part. Yeah. Okay. How'd you get to the dirt part? <coughs> well, I, mean, I just stopped. I just <coughs> the truck stopped. I don't know. Okay. All right. Um, did you have to walk very far to get up to her, or how far away were you when you stopped? Maybe I was close. Okay. You think it was close. behind you. Oh uh, yeah. You stopped the same direction. Yeah. Okay. All right. And um, did you see anything else around her at all? I didn't really look. But no, I don't. Nothing caught my eye. Okay. All right. Um, naturally, it's upsetting when you see someone like yeah, that. Yeah. I mean. How long do you think you stood there before you decided to, you know, do something and load her up? I don't know. Like, I just 
this hard for an owl. It wasn't very long, so I was scared. I was like, I don't know what to yeah. do. How did you freak out? In my head, you know, like, I don't know. I was just okay. I shot off. I don't, I never sure. don't wish I would have done it for us. Mm-hmm. Okay. And it wasn't right, but I don't know why I, I left. How long do you think it was before you made that decision? Say Roughly. A couple minutes, maybe. A couple minutes. So after I like talked to her and asked her if she's okay, and then I was like, shit, I'm <clears throat> freaking out. So she was clearly dead at that point. Did she have any injuries that you saw? So it was like her arm was broke. Okay. That's the only thing I could think of. Do you remember what your arm? <coughs> <coughs> No, she was laying on her right side. Okay. Then this arm was yeah. Okay. Any other injuries to her that were obvious to you? I didn't I didn't look her over really that. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? After I knew she was at it. Mm-hmm. So you said it was um, pretty obvious to you, but did you check her pulse or anything? No. Interesting. <coughs> All right. Um Got the truck and I just drove, trying to figure out what the fuck was going on. Mm-hmm. How did you get her into the truck? Just pick her up. Um, like how? Like under her like right arm, you know? And just laid her on the bed. Um, did you tell me? Yeah. Up or down? Down. Down. So on the back of the truck? into the bed, um, so, like, were your arms under her arms, or how, how did you, (coughs) so, I kind of, like, picked her up, like, the old fireman carried or whatever you want to call it, okay, or whatever, you know, okay, under her arms. Mm -hmm. The method Martin describes is extremely awkward. In that position, he would not be able to lift her body high enough to reach the truck bed. We don't think you're fucked up. We think that you, like you said, you were scared and yeah. panicked. I mean, this just happened, and so you you didn't know what to do at that point, or you you know weren't thinking right. Colby, did you did you clean your vehicle at all last night or this morning? Did you work through a car wash or anything like that, or it just looked like there was a, some fresh water and stuff in there? Did you did you wash your vehicle out or clean it yourself? Since like Friday, maybe. Okay. Did you do anything to wipe it out today? <clears throat> I don't think so. I mean, like, wipe, wipe, wipe. Well, Martin avoids giving a straight answer. If he admits to trying to hide the evidence, it makes it less believable that he was planning to come forward on his own. We need you to be honest. I have like lice, okay, lice. lice. I mean, not lice, but like armor on. Yeah. That's the only thing I. Okay, did you use those in any way? So, but this, I do that like every day though. Okay, where did you use those at? Like on the. Where at on the pickup truck? Dash and everything. Just like on the like when I was sitting in the parking lot mm-hmm. before, so I just. Nothing in the back of the truck. They wouldn't. You wouldn't. Oh, no. Okay. Right. You now was there floor mats in the back of the truck? Is that? Did you put your floor mats in the? Oh yeah. What, what was up with that? I was just cleaning it. Oh, and that was when. I was. I forgot. I was using that for. <clears throat> I don't know why I took that out. It was was it before yesterday? Yeah. Okay. It's probably a box back there too, the trash and shit. Okay. All right. Yeah, I just I just want to make sure it just you know I know we had a lot of dew and stuff, and I think it rained a little bit, so I didn't know if that it looked like there looked like to me the truck had been cleaned, and I just oh. this is why I was just inquiring about that. I haven't cleaned it in a while. Okay. Well, I mean, okay. And the floor mat, I think that was it. Had just Shit on it, and it like, oh, okay. a can or somebody spilled something in the bag. All right. Um, <clears throat> what else did you load up with her? Like, that's it. That's all. Um, what, 
What else did you pick up off the ground? Anything? There's an issue with walking. Did she lose any items off of her? Oh, I don't know. I didn't even grab anything. Okay. I don't know if she had anything on her. So other than her, you didn't I just grabbed her and her. I left. I was scared. Um, did you continue on the same direction? <clears throat> yeah. That you were previously headed? Okay. And you remember which direction from there? I don't know. Our highway. What road is this out here? This is on 40. I don't know what road I was on. I just went and um... mm -hmm. can, can Before we get too far down the road, but. Um, back to where the crash happened. <coughs> Can you describe the area around you at all? There's a lot of trees. It was like not swampy, but I mean, a lot of farms to it. Okay. Like fields. Fields. Right. And like um, thick tree brush, you know. That's why I think I remember. But it was foggy too, so I couldn't really like yeah. see anything out there. Okay. Um, was it, can you describe the area where she was laying? Like, I don't know. Did the, what, the, the ground was covered? Um, ground cover? Tree, tree, couple trees and grass. Okay. Really, I mean. Okay. All right. Uh, anything else around? So, I mean, there's houses, but they were down farther. <clears throat> All right. No houses right in the area where this wow. accident happened. Okay. Okay. And did you have an idea where you were going to go at that point? Yeah. Once you made up your mind? I mean, when I left, I just, I didn't know what I was doing when I left. Did you call anybody or talk to anyone about it? I don't know who to call. I should have called you, but I did But no, I didn't talk to anybody. Have you talked to anyone else about this? Just you guys. Can you explain the phones a little bit more? I didn't know she had a phone on her, though. I don't know how that would do that though. Like I don't know how you can, you know, on the phone you gotta have like a thing to pop that out. Mm -hmm. Okay. Did you check anything on her, any of her clothes? I didn't want to look at her, you know what I mean? Like I didn't want to see that. Okay. Alright. I mean that sounds really bad, but I'm sorry. Listen, I, I believe you, you know. Otherwise, you wouldn't have come forward with the information, let us know where she was. You know? And I do believe that, that you would have come forward sometime and given somebody some information on where to look, whether it be anonymously or whatever. That's a lot to live with, isn't it? So after you um, <clears throat> placed her wherever you took us, where'd you go from there? Home. To White Pigeon? Yeah. To your parents' place? Okay. And then did you stay there all day or go anywhere else? I just stayed home. You got your own room there? Are you sleeping on the couch? I I in like the basement. Okay. Is that the room you used to have when you were a kid? or is it No, my grandma stays in my zone because my grandpa died so my grandma would move down with my parents too gotcha. and just back up a little bit after you had dropped her off did you stop anywhere along the I way to you so. okay you believe that once I went right you put her where she was you went right to your mom and dad's okay. and then would your mom and dad have been up when you got home well wait a minute that would have still been in the early morning hours your mom and dad would have wondered why you weren't at work remember I don't even know if they're home yet. 
Because <clears throat> remember, that's why you went to work in the first place. Yeah. Hold on, let me think. Your mom and dad work? Really retired? No, my dad just kind of like retired from the mill. We both work at the mill. Okay. My mom, she was working at the mill. So you would have been home. So I really, really I know. Still I mean, though, I always go to home. We have like a, what do you want to call this? Like a store door or whatever, you know, in the very basement. Is it an egress window? No, uh, well, like the door, like the the old fashioned one. Oh yeah, down. yeah, storm, yeah, storm cellar door. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I was, yeah, that's what I'm talking about. Is that what you did when you got home? I did, yeah, I think so. Pretty sure. So I remember them calling me, asking me where I was at. Like, I'm home. Your mom and dad had called you yesterday. I think so. I think it was yesterday. And then were they home when they called you to see if you were where you were no, at? No, they were in the room. Okay. They just didn't know, so I went down to the basement. Okay. Then I'm like, well, let's see All right. Well, okay. And then, did you eat dinner with my, your mom and dad that night? I don't think so. I usually do my own thing, usually. You didn't go out to get dinner or anything like that? What'd you do for food? I probably just cooked so I don't even think I ate. I might have made wings. Okay. But we're sure that we didn't leave the house then? No. Okay. I don't usually leave. <clears throat> and, you don't, person. and you don't remember ever seeing a cell phone with her? Or you never touched the cell phone? Her a phone or okay. All right. Okay. Is your prints or anything going to show up on anything that she has, like a cell phone? No. I mean, it just whatever her arm I grabbed her. That's okay. it. Because you know they're going to be checking, right? Yeah. And be sending some of that stuff to the lab. And so again, this is no, I think you didn't clear the only time I talked to we don't her. want any surprises. No, I'm telling you, like, picked her up, put her in, and picked her out, put her out. Okay. That's it. Okay. All right. Is there any reason that um, there would be any DNA inside of her at all? No. No. Okay. Because again, they're not. Oh, yeah, I know, but no. And, and sometimes this happens. I mean, that's why we ask. It's one of our standard questions no, like we always go through. But they're also going to check. And so, you know, we don't need any surprises there. Mm -hmm. So there's no reason no, that you're going to be surprised. DNA inside of her or any semen inside of her or anything like that? No. From you? Okay. Okay. Well, we just, you know, no, we I have to ask. I know. I'm just saying. What we would like to do, Colby, is um, just collect some DNA from you, if you don't mind. Okay. Uh, this is going to save us a little bit of process of totally eliminating all that stuff. We don't we don't have any proof right now that anything other than the crash happened no. and, and that she died. Okay. It's just suspicious to us when we find her, and there could be very several logical reasons why she didn't have any clothes from the waist down. Oh, I get it. Yeah. Dragging her through that. The detective isn't being honest. There are only a few reasons why her clothing would be missing, and Martin was almost certainly involved. Thick brush, okay. We might find it. Might have blew off of her. The blanket blew off of her. Why, maybe the pants did too. We don't know. We just have to ask. I know. I yeah. Well, yeah. So, do you, well, I'm going to run next door and grab a collection kit. Sounds good. Yeah. Is that okay? Okay. Have you ready? You sure you want less water? Okay.
catch her other son's name. Was it Carson and what else? Cannon. C-A-N-O-N? C-A-N-N-O-N. It's a cool name. I don't think I've ever heard of that one before. Yeah, that's neat. Have you had kids? Yeah. You got kids? Yep. You know, it's not easy uh, living up to being the model parent, right? Like, we all have these issues where we're... Yeah, I'm not doing a very good job. Man. Hey, it's a mistake. We've all that. made mistakes. We've all done stupid stuff. We admit that this was stupid, but, you know, now we got to deal with it. But you're doing the right thing now. We're going to work through this. Like, like I said, it's a hurdle. I'm fucked. I think that you coming forward and you cooperating with this is going to go a huge length. Dave and I, we always uh, give input to the prosecutor. Look, you're a remorseful person. You didn't want this to happen. You're sorry for what happened. You're doing the right thing now. You know, that's that's workable. You're a workable person. This is not the end of the road for you at all. You have a future ahead of you. You have, you're going to be there for your kids. You definitely will. You know, that's the last thing we ever want to do is take someone away from their kids. This is hard right now because he's having a lot of trouble with them doing no more. Yeah. Yep. And he's only half straight right now. Yep, my parents were divorced. Uh, it's it's difficult, but you know what? They'll get through it. You know, they just and now his dad's gonna go to jail. It's gonna fuck him up. You're not the only one that's ever made mistakes. Like I said, we've all made mistakes. Then it's so stupid. Like it was an accident, and then I end up making it worse. Martin stresses that it was an accident at every opportunity that presents itself. For the detectives, the evidence isn't adding up to fit his story. If you would, I'd like you to kind of draw out the scene if you're willing to do that. <coughs> so if we just do like, it doesn't have to be perfect, doesn't have to be a work of art, but just draw like the road and where your truck was and where... doing all this to use this against me. We're just trying to do a complete investigation. The pen stuff here. So me like where the truck was and then her? Yep. However you remember that. That's her. On the same side she was walking? I think so. Do you even know what road you were on? I have no idea what your name was or nothing. Okay. Alright. I was just trying to find the highway and send you home. And where did she land or stop when you went up to her? Like right around there. Like when she was walking, she was here. Oh, okay. You know, so then that's that's like, I found her. She was like that. Oh, okay. no. I understand. And then I tried. 
tried, like, you know, maybe something's like last minute. Mm -hmm. Sure. No, that's fine. Uh, whatever you want to add to it or whatever. By having Martin sketch the scene, the police can compare it to what they have already discovered and see if he is deliberately hiding anything and if it leads to discrepancies in his account of the timeline. Um, was there any of your vehicle parts? Because you're missing grill. Yeah, I mean, it's on the tip of the house. So I, was, I don't want to fly off when I was driving. Your grills at your house? I ripped it off, you know what I mean? Just okay. around and whatnot. Semi or whatever, down. Throw it off. Okay. Did you rip it off there at the scene or no, once I'm you got the house? The house. Okay. How much of it? Just the middle of the part, you know what I mean? Mm hmm. Just okay. like that. All right. What'd you do with it at the house? It's just laying in the yard. So I'm going to tell you that we found some tracks off the road. So I just want to, that's kind of where I was, I was trying to get to clear this up. A little bit. So I found tracks off over here. Okay. I don't, I don't remember. That's kind of what I was asking you. No, I did. I mean, pieces of the vehicle were all, you know, off the road, and the tire tracks were off the road. So that's why I want you to really think about that part of it. Obviously, maybe it's that, but so maybe that's why I stopped them. I don't know. I mean, I guess. I don't know why. I don't really think I did this on purpose or anything. Is that what you think? I don't. I was, but I mean, I know you're doing your job, but I know sometimes your guys' job is to act like our friends and then. I get that. I'm not trying to turn on you. Uh, I know. Look, my concern is for the family. Oh, I know. I get it. I mean, you're doing your job. That's so. my job. Is to make sure that and I, the I victims so are taken good. care of, and so sometimes it no, may come that. off mean. I'm know. sorry. No, I'm right. not trying to be mean. No, I know, but I do want to. I just don't want anybody to think I did this shit on purpose. Okay, I don't think you did, and honestly, I didn't think I sh that you did yesterday when we were out there. It's like what you were telling us is exactly what I thought had happened. What would happen if I would just call? We would have done an investigation. Anytime there is a death, there is an investigation, even if it is reported immediately. Moving the body just made the detectives determined to dig deeper to find out what happened. Same thing. Um, you know, we look at the evidence. We try to figure out, we get a statement from you and look at the evidence, see what we have. Uh, but there's no way there, guys. I thought that this was intentional. I highly doubt that anyone out there yesterday would have thought it was intentional either. <laughs> I mean, accident, sure. But intentional, not a chance. I didn't think that. I didn't think that yesterday. 
If you would have called us then, we wouldn't have thought that. You know, do you know this lady? Is there any records that we're going to dig up that you've had contact with her before? No. So. Martin did not know Roar. It was a crime of opportunity. You know, why would we even start going along those lines? But, like I said, we're here no, I you know, to, to make sure that the family's taken care of and that we've done the best job that we can do. That, you know, we've looked at every angle. And so that's why we've come across some of these tough questions. Um, because they're going to test everything. Yeah, I know. They're going to they're test her. They're going to test your vehicle. So, whatever's out there will come up. There it is. Um, I'm sorry? Weed in my truck. Weed? You don't care about weed. Okay, well, I was just saying, totally. so, well, I didn't. Thank you for telling me that, though. Is it like a bale of it? No, it was just a little jar. And I like to get from the store. Yeah, sure. okay. This one's bad. I don't like the way that looks. Like. You don't have a knife on you, do you? Where you can just top, cut the top of it off? All right. Colby, did, did you, um, go back, did you shower last night, did you say? Yeah. You did shower? And what, what clothes would you have been wearing yesterday when this happened? Just I don't know, a t-shirt and jeans. Do you, do you know the color of the t-shirt that you're wearing? And I think we're like a specific kind of jeans, are they like Levi jeans, Lee jeans? Shirt like this. Okay, a grayish color shirt, you think? I think so. And then would those be in your bedroom? Probably. Okay. And blue jeans? Yeah. How about shoes? What kind of shoes were you wearing? Tennis shoes. All of these. You were wearing those yesterday? Yeah. Okay. Right. So the shoes are the same. The only thing you would have been wearing would have been full length blue jeans yeah. oh. and a gray shirt. Yeah. Okay. All right. Yeah, and you did shower yesterday. Shower after you got back home? Yeah. Ooh, do you have any idea? Just before, what time do you think you actually went to bed? Or tried to fall asleep? I showered like at 8 or 9. 8 or 9 o'clock at night? Now, is your shower downstairs or is there one? You have to go upstairs? upstairs. You're sure you didn't clean out your truck, right? The, the back end of it? Yeah, no. All right. Would there be a reason why when the officers went to your mom and dad's house, look, there's bloody rags discovered in the trash can? Where at them? In the trash can at your mom and dad's house. Bloody rags at mom and dad's? Yeah. I didn't throw anything away. Okay. You sure about that? Okay. Could you have maybe, could have maybe blacked out or just don't remember? The reason I asked is we did we we did go out to your mom and dad's house. Right. Um, Freaking out. Uh, yeah. They're, they're worried about you, but your dad did direct us to a trash can where there were some bloody rags and such, and he said those were from you cleaning your truck. So remember when I talked to you about being honest, Colby? It goes a long way. I'm trying to us. think. Martin stalls for time as he tries to come up with an explanation but there isn't an innocent reason for that amount of blood. I was like, oh, boy. Well, I mean, maybe then, I don't remember, I mean, maybe I wiped it out of the bed, but that's, I didn't like clean it, like. Okay, so that's something like, okay, that's sorry. what we were talking about. I'm sorry. When I asked if you cleaned out the truck, that's what we're talking about. Well, I forgot about it, like, the red. Okay, I need you to not forget. Okay, I'm sorry. Okay. You gotta be honest with us. The only way we're gonna go to bat for you is if you're telling the truth. Okay? Right. And like I said, we're gonna be checking everything. Mm -hmm. You already know that we're down at your mom and dad's place. Alright? We're already checking your truck. Okay? We're talking to you. So we need the truth out of you. Okay? Forgot about where you parked your truck or where you well, that was where you hard. drove and everything. I don't remember going off the road at all though. Okay. Be Sorry. With, so, with when when I asked you originally if you had cleaned your truck, because I thought it looked like it had been recently washed. Mm -hmm. Did you wash your truck now? No. 
Oh, I didn't wash okay. it. Or you didn't wash the truck. But you, what day you told me? I might have. What time? I like, guess I missed. I wiped it out with the bed. It might have been. With with a hose or no, with just the rags? Bed. Okay. You have any idea how many rags you used? Just whatever was in there, I guess. Okay. And and where, time I would have done it. Where did the rags come from? Just about. Were they ones that you had around your mom and dad's? You had to stop by them? No. I think I, I think I had some in my truck. Okay. So the rags that were used to wipe out the truck came, were already yeah, in the truck. Yeah, I had them. All right. So, was there, so she must have been bleeding. Is that my understanding? Yeah. Okay. Because I didn't know that. I, my understanding was that she just had a, what appeared to be a broken arm. Okay. And I don't know if you guys had talked about that. So, so we know that she, she was bleeding. Do you know where she was bleeding from? I don't know, I think. Okay. Was there a significant amount of blood that was recovered off of these rags? Okay. Um, did it look, did she like pool a lot of blood in your, in your vehicle? It, it wasn't a lot when I wiped it up. Okay. All right. But you do remember wiping your vehicle out? No, no, no. Okay. All right. How about the shorts that we found in the garbage can with the bloody rags? What shorts? There's a pair of, it looks like cut off shorts. It looks like some shorts were cut off or ripped or, or, or something that we, that were found in there. Are those hers? I didn't throw any shorts away. Okay. At my dad's? Yeah, they're, and like I said, I'm not out your dad's, I'm just listening to what the officer said. In the dumpster with those bloody rags is a pair of shorts. That your mom and dad don't say it looks familiar to them. I don't remember throwing the shorts away. Okay. Do you remember then when you took her out of the truck? Do you remember her being naked from the waist down? No. Okay. So is it your belief that she still had her her I, her, her I shorts her clothes on? off? Uh, I understand that. I'm just saying. And when I took her out, I shared her clothes on. Okay. All right. So the shorts that are at your mom and dad's are not hers. No. Okay, I'm just asking. I'm just asking. Your mom and dad just can't figure out where they they came from. I know. And your dad says he does remember talking to you about the damage to your vehicle. Um, but your dad doesn't remember the car deer crash over the weekend. On Sunday. Yeah. Well, he's not paying attention. Okay. Because he says he remembers talking to you yesterday about the damage to your truck. That's when I brought it up to him. So we. Okay, so your dad didn't see the damage to the, to the pickup truck that occurred over the weekend. Yeah. Okay. Your dad, okay. The questions are starting to hit too close to home, and Martin grows increasingly agitated. He can't sit still, and his gaze shifts in every direction to avoid making eye contact. So your dad only saw the damage to your vehicle after you had struck this lady. All right, let's make a little bit more sense. Um, Bloody rags and the shorts are at the car wash. Well, they're at a car wash. Oh, pigeon. Oh. So, okay. So, did you go to the car wash? I didn't wash my car out. Okay. I stopped there. My buddy was there. Who's your buddy? His name's Chad. Does he work there or something? No. He was just, I was driving by, I see his truck, I pulled in. Is, so is this before you got to your mom and dad's then, after you put her into the woods? Oh, wait. Oh, there we go. See? Damn it. I'm not lying to you guys. I, I understand that, but I, I'm, okay. I'm just, I'm kind of confused. So, I'm, after that. After what? I dropped her off. Yeah. And I'm, then I stopped by the car wash, seeing okay. Chad. Okay. No. Oh. All right. What's Chad's last name? Place. Chad Place. Okay. Uh, okay, so then after you leave Chad and talk to him for a while, oh, clean out the back of your truck. Then, over, okay, all right. Then you went home for sure. Yeah. All right, because you're not sure if your mom and dad were home or not, because your mom and dad say that that's they didn't get home. Came out and looked at the truck after I got home. Your dad said that was at six o'clock. No, it was not. And that's I'm, I'm just saying what he said. Okay. It was like almost dark. It was almost dark when your dad came out. And then I went. All right, so that would have been late in the evening. So then I didn't. You understand? We're just trying to. No, I'm trying to get my. We're just trying to develop a timeline here of just collaborating the information that you're getting together right now. I'm trying to. I'm sorry. I'm not trying to. That's okay. 
And maybe by us bringing this stuff up, it's making you yes. remember some things. Okay. I feel like you guys are just pointing out like. How, how are we doing that? Not that, but like now you're mad. No, I'm not. I am. I'm not mad at all, and I don't think Kyle is either. We're just helping you. We have some questions, and I, I think, you, and I think you respect us for asking these. You know, um, there's some questions that we need answers. I mean, uh, we're not saying you know, again. You intentionally went out and ran this lady over. We're not. We're never saying that. Okay, but we're just trying to figure out the events, what folded up, what went up to that time, and then what happened afterwards. We just that way we can to verify the all the information that you've given us. You know. So I say okay. So did you really leave work at? No, I really broke out. Okay, so you I really broke out at like it was like because my HR lady was like, "You need to go." Home. Okay, she did tell you that you're not yeah. fired or anything like that. So I was like, it was after, it was a little after seven. Okay. So I was there for like an hour, and then she had to go home. I got out. I don't think I had lunch at the gas station or anything. I just went driving, and it was like around eight. You know, it was early morning still. Mm-hmm. So then I, when I hit, I must have drove around. Beforehand or no? Be- after, like, you know, me and trying to figure out what the fuck's going on. Okay, so her. so maybe you had her in the back of the vehicle a little For bit longer little than an hour, don't you think? Yeah. Okay. Are we sure about the phone? Are we sure? Yeah, I just no, I don't have to. I, I, I never okay. seen her phone. Okay. I don't know, she had a phone. Okay. I see it. Never touched the phone. Okay. Or okay. All right. Her clothes. I did not take her clothes off. Okay. The rags. I did wipe out the bed out. I'm sorry, I didn't say that. Okay. What else did you throw away there? Because they're pulling video from the car wash. They're... Remember what I told you? I know, but we're, I'm just... We're looking at everything, so I need to be honest with you. Okay. What else did you throw I away? Was just rags. I just grabbed a pile of shit. What else? Rags. You know there was more stuff that you threw out there. Well, then obviously tell there's clothes then. But well, tell us about I didn't know they were hers. Well, how'd they get in the trash? Because there was just a pile of clothes in the back. I thought, well, whose are they? I thought it was just like, like a shirt or something I was using to wipe up. So clothes in the back of your truck that you don't know whose they are. No, but I, you like I, like I, I had a box. The box is still back there. I was handling it with a belt in. And I just grabbed it and I threw everything. What else is in that? Highly, <coughs> just be rags, clothes, or whatever that. Well, obviously, the shorts now, but then I think that's it. Whose shorts are they? Well, I thought it was a shirt. Well, whose shirt is it? I thought it was mine. Kobe. Because I thought it was just like the shit that I was using to wipe up, you know what I mean? Martin is not able to convince the detectives that he did not remove Roar's clothes. The hat, shoes, and coat might be within the realm of possibility, but not her shorts. So if it's not hers, who's is it? Well, then I don't know. But is it hers then? Because her clothes are off, right? <coughs> are you saying you put her in the back of the truck with her clothes on? Somewhere in the car ride, her shorts are off? But you don't know how? What? Tell me how that much, much sense that makes. That don't make sense. Right. So that's what I'm telling you. You got to tell the truth to us. <coughs> because guess what? When we go and pull a video from that car one, it'll be like, well, he's lying about this. He's lying about this. He's lying about this. Then we're going to say, well, we're not going to bat for this guy because he's not telling us the truth. But guess what? We're going to find out the okay. truth anyway. So you need to come clean with then, us. All right, Colby? When her clothes are ripped up from getting hit, I'm assuming. Okay. And then probably when I put her in, everything was like ripping off. And then I just threw everything away. Okay, well, so they are her clothes that you threw away? Yes, I'm sorry. At the car wash. Yeah. What else is in there? That's you know what I can assume. I mean, I really, I don't rag and that's it. What else? I don't, what else did they find? I don't know. On. What else did they find though? Well, you just tell me, so I don't know. We're telling you this stuff, and until we tell you something, then you don't remember it. Now it's your turn to tell us something. So, in the trash can, the only thing I can think of is shorts or 
rubber and revs. There's something very significant that you should remember. What? And guess what? It's going to have your DNA on it, and it may have her DNA on it also. So I need you to tell me the truth. You know where it is, and I know where it is, but I need you to say it. Totally. Tell me. Well, I don't know. You know what this is. Because guess what? When we're going to test it, everything's getting tested. I'm telling you this. I don't know what would have DNA on that. I'm honest. You had sex with her. No, I didn't. I would not have sex with a dead person. People do it. Oh, well, I'm not one of those fucking people. Why are we finding evidence of this on her? Evidence of this in the trash. What's in the trash? Her I shorts? I want you to tell me. <coughs> this is all I'm not fucking lying. Lunch. This is all going to come out. Colby, you I told, I told you now, for real. I told you guys. You're leaving stuff out. Why am I, I'm not leaving shit out. I didn't fuck her, okay? I didn't have sex with her. That's fucked up. It's fucked up whatever happened. I know. Was the spent condom something that you threw in there from a time that you had a relationship with somebody cool. else? Well, that's always not mine. I don't wear condoms. Okay. All right. So there's Check off with them, but that's it. Okay. But there's no, like Kyle's telling you, there's no reason. It's no, I'm not. It's just, I get it. Yeah, okay. I understand. That's why I think I was scared to uh, yeah. say shit. Right. But we're not fucking dead girl. Tell me about the condom then. I didn't have a condom though. I didn't know I threw one away. It's a car wash though. There's hundreds of people. So you're saying that was not yours? I don't know. It might have been. But I didn't use it with her. But you just told us a little bit ago. I said I might jack off in one. Okay. But I have a girlfriend and we never use a condom. <clears throat> so would, would there be a reason why that would have been left in your vehicle? What? Your, the condom. No. Is there going to be any <clears throat> DNA of her on there? I don't know. Why would there be? That's what I'm saying. I'm trying to find out. Hey, I'm, I didn't have sex with her, okay? I swear. Martin had researched such acts on his computer just one month before the incident. And you, and you do know, as Kyle said, if that comes back, we, that's why we collect the DNA. It's all uh, for elimination purposes. Your DNA may be on that condom, right? Might be. But her DNA definitely won't be. No. Okay. I didn't have all sex right. with her. Right. That's all I'm asking. I'm just asking. Yours might be on it, okay? Your, your DNA may be on that condom, but hers will not. No. Okay. Right. Mine shouldn't be in there, so I don't use them. Okay. You said you jack off in them, so yeah, you use them for something. When was the last time you would have jacked off in a condom? No, it was a long time ago. Yeah. Okay. Like we're talking months, weeks, years? I when I lived in my old house. Okay. That was what? July? June? So it still would have been in your truck? Yeah, I just kind of was in my truck because I had bought a big ass pack of them. Long time ago, and they were like in a bag. They're all over the place. Okay. Um, do you think anything else? No. All right. Let me go back through. Yep. Just. Throw some of this stuff away, I'll be right back. <clears throat> this 
see how it looks. Let's it's all, I never get it now. Okay, now it's all turning. You were in over your head, and you're flustered. You're making mistakes. You're. Well, I'm sorry, I can't. I don't remember every little thing. Okay, and I get the wipe and the thing out. I should have told you. But I figured you guys would have like made it like I was trying to hide his shit or something. I know, it's not stupid, but I'm not, I'm not explaining it very well. Okay, you're fine. Okay. I'm not keeping anything else from you, though. That, that's what I'm trying to say. It's I'm sorry. We, we, we've, we've talked, we've had this, this conversation. You say, yeah, I'm telling the truth. And then I say, well, what about this? And you're like, oh, yeah, about that. And then we talk a little further, and then I'm like, what about this? And you're like, oh yeah. It's like, what? How many more oh yeahs are there? No, but I don't think there's gonna be any more oh yeahs. I feel like I told you everything. Unless you, there's something you act like there's something you know that you're waiting for me to say or something. I want you to tell the truth. I just the whole truth. truth. I was driving. Not just my direct okay, questions. I, know. I drove. She came out of nowhere. I hit her, you know, like I said, stopped, I got out, did my thing, see she was there, you know, when she was gone, picked her up, put her in the back, drove around trying to figure everything out, scared, because I didn't know, you know, and then just driving and then I ended up just throwing her off. Her clothes were ripped up, so then they did fall off, so I just threw them back in the truck. How, how do you mean they fall, fell off? I, well, I don't know if they got ripped when she got hit, but when I was pulling her, like everything was falling, so I, I don't know, I just... So those stayed in your truck then? Well, I just threw them in the back, so I didn't want to leave clothes laying out there. And then I went to the truck, car wash, and I seen him, and I was like, oh, I'm going to throw this shit away. What'd you tell Chad? I didn't tell him anything. Well, yeah, I just said I had a deer. You told him you had a deer? No. So did he see you put the, the rags in the no, trash? Or the clothes? Left. Okay. Martin managed to hide his actions from his friend, who never suspected that Martin was capable of such an act. Is there anywhere else you went? Not that night, no. I swear. I drove around with your her. phone and all this. Every single then, location is going to be pinpointed. No, I didn't go anywhere. I drove around trying to, you know, just clear my head, you know. Not the right thing. But no, I didn't go anywhere else. Just drove around. Did you actually have on her what shoes, I guess, is a better question. I just got to use my phone for one second here. <laughs> Zilla's shoes are super clean. I wore these, though. Like, those are concrete shoes. Those are pavement shoes. They don't much look like anything else. So which shoes were you wearing? Pretty sure I had these ones on. Are you a shoe guy or do you only have like a couple pair? No, I'm not a shoe guy. You are? No. Oh, you're not a shoe guy. I have the same shoes forever. I got boots, I got shoes.
What other pair of shoes do you have at the house? I think I have some. I have another white pair. Okay. I think they're Adidas. Kind of like that? Yeah, but they have the stripes instead of the. Oh, okay. And then the sandals. Okay. No boots? No. Is this what you would wear to work then? What about, there was a pair of jeans in the back of your pickup truck, in the cap part. Yeah, that's what I wore today. How was today's clothes? I had these oh. on under. Okay. Gotcha. So those were today's clothes. Did you wear any gloves or anything? I think I was cleaning, so I had like shit on me. Like rubber gloves or leather gloves or something else? Just like you can't use that. I don't know, maybe like rubber, probably utility gloves, maybe like gardening gloves. Yeah. Well, still at your house. Are they? I know. Are they? I don't think so. I think I've been wearing them. Where were you throwing those away at? They might have been in that pile when I was throwing it away. You know, on the end of the truck or the car wash. Kind of people are your folks? Good people. When asked about his parents, Martin looks visibly sick, knowing what their reaction will be when they find out what he has done. Anything else in the trash? No, just the, the car wash. Just what we said. Now, you mentioned you saw a yellow blob. Yeah. What was that? Okay. I don't know about I don't know. I just looked at it. Did you guys find anything? Like, I'm asking the question. So, yeah. I don't know what it was about. I thought it was the same with something with yellow. Right, Colby, I do have a question if you don't mind. <coughs> You're having you didn't fuck her. Now what what is your definition of fucking somebody? Is that actually your penis into her vagina? Yeah. Okay. How about would would you consider penetration with your finger fucking? I mean if I okay, you consider that fucking as well? Okay, so and there was none of that. There was no bodily number I, okay, I'm just asking that. Well that condom, it wouldn't have been put on your finger. I'm just throwing this no, no, no. hypothetically out there and insert it into her. No. Okay. The, the condoms that you buy, are they lubricated? Are they, do you know anything about the, or you just go in there and buy just any type of condom? I'm assuming they're lubricated. Okay. Well, there's some that are, I'm assuming, right? Yeah, I'm assuming. Okay. The ones that you purchased, I don't know how long ago did you purchase these condoms? Well, some time ago. All right. They, you would have jacked off into these and somehow it would have been left in your pickup truck. And if the condom that we found in the trash can with the bloody rags and the, and the shorts come back with your DNA on it, that is an old condom. It shouldn't have any DNA. Okay, in just it. just check. Okay. I didn't know. Okay, I just wanted to make sure that we knew that we were talking the same thing when we talked about fucking. That I want to make sure that I didn't leave something out where it's penetration with fingers, toes, tongue. The results will show the DNA of both Martin and Roar. Nothing. You know, any, nothing no, her. no penetration into her at all. No. Okay. All right. Um, I can't think of anything else. I picked her up. You picked her up. Yeah. Do you understand where Kyle and I were coming from? That we had some concern. You told us some of the story. You know, and I almost kind of felt like we had to feed you the information what we have dealt in our hand. I almost thought I had to tough feel like. I gotta tell you what kind of cards I have in my hand in order for you to tell me everything that's cool that happened that day. You know? 
that's not fair. I'm sorry. You know, this is your opportunity to tell us what happened because we were not there. And not that it totally discredits what you're telling us, but when you forget stuff or you tell Kyle I didn't I didn't wash out the truck, but yeah, I did go wash it out, wiped it out. It could be her shorts, uh, you know, I don't know. They are her shorts or wherever we were at with those, okay? Um, that, it doesn't upset us. It's just, it's going around. It's, you know, when we could just go straight down the road and just tell us exact, you know, we're just looking to see exactly what happened, okay? Uh, Kyle and I, neither one of us has said, you purposely stalked this lady and, and killed her. No, we never heard that out of our mouths, did you? No. We never said you purposely hurt the, hit this lady, did we? No. Yeah. We never said you were a monster, did we? All we asked for was that you to tell us the truth. And sometimes I felt a little bit discouraged with you because I felt like, like uh, we had to tell you everything that we knew. And we shouldn't have to do that, you know? So this, like I said, we're going we're gonna to brainstorm after this, okay? Kyle and I are going to sit down. We're going to talk about what we, what we talked to you about today. We're going to talk about all the, the evidence that was found at the gas station. What we come up with your mom and dad, you know? We're going to talk about all this, and we're going to brainstorm. And I'm hoping that there aren't questions that you haven't answered. You know, if there's something, when Kyle and I walk out this door, we're still available to talk to you. Don't get me wrong, okay? If you said, hey, uh, in an hour from now, I want to talk to Dave and Kyle again, we'll be right back, all right? But if there's something you can think that we missed or we should know right now that might come up, because remember, this is a thorough investigation. Okay, somebody died. A lady died. A grandma, a mother, a sister, uh, died. You know, a hor horrible. Yeah, it's okay. Cool. And that's all we want to do. We want to get to the bottom of this. We want to make sure every minute from the time that you got up that morning to the time you got to work to the time that you got lost or whatever, uh, and we want to make sure that we can do a complete timeline. Does that make sense? We can account for every minute of your day. All right. And then I don't want to have to. Now we had talked about you said you stopped at Speedway this morning, right? No. That was this morning, and we were thinking that was about six or no? It was no, it was like five something. Okay. And what did you buy there? Cigarettes and a water. Okay. No, no condoms that day, or right? I'm just all right. All right. Cigarettes and water. What kind of cigarettes do you smoke? Marlboro. Marlboro. Okay. And then he went from there to Myers. And we stayed at Myers and slept for a while. Never went in the store. Okay. So you went from that Myers once you woke up to the location at Walmart. And you never went in Walmart. All right. And no stops between Myers and Walmart. Correct? Kyle and I forget anything. Is there something that you want us to know before we, before we leave here? I mean, like I said, we're still available. If you can think of something, because you're going to have time to collect, uh, you know, think about things. This is your opportunity, and we will listen. I think I was worried. I guess I was scared to sit about the shorts thing because I thought you guys would assume that. Okay, so so I these these are her shorts. Is that that you guys could that confirm that these were in fact her shorts? Is that my understanding now? Yeah. Okay. All right. All right. Because I missed that. My when I was out of the room. So these. So these, some of the clothes came off when you. Pulling her out of the yeah. truck. Okay. I think they were ripped. I mean, they were ripped up. So okay. Like a, from the like the shit hit. All right. And then I just don't want to like. Oh, they were just falling off. So I just threw them back in the truck. Was there really a blanket that you put over her? Yeah. Were, there is. Okay. Somewhere, I don't know. And this is described as a green like throw blanket or something like that, yeah, right? Kind of like a fuzzy blanket. You know? Okay. Is any of the other clothes tear off? Not like off off. I think the shorts are the only thing that like were completely ripped off. Okay. Mm -hmm. So they're gonna have. And I know that sounds damage to them. <coughs> I guess. I mean, I'm assuming. Was her shirt? I think her shirt was ripped too. Yeah. No. Now my understanding was she was located or found. She didn't have any underwear on. Did her other were her underwear located too? I don't know. I don't know. I didn't know okay. they counted with those shorts. I didn't like look at them. I just I don't want to touch them. All right. Okay. Then 
Remember my name, right? No. Dave. Dave? Remember? Kyle. Yep. What are you going to do if you remember something? I will get a hold of you guys. Yep. <clears throat> and we're available to come talk to you whenever you need to, okay? Do you understand where Kyle and I stand now? We collectively sit down with our investigative group. We, we brainstorm this. And then the, we have to talk to a prosecutor to see what he believes, if at all anything, to to right now charge you with. That doesn't mean they'll stick or whatever. It's just right now we got to figure out what we have here in front of us. All right? But it's very important, Kobe, that if you remember anything, I don't want the, these investigators that are still out there looking to find some stuff that will not verify your events for that day. Okay? Yeah. I want to be your advocate. I want to say this is the story. This is exactly what happened. This is what Cody said happened. And everything that Cody said matches up to the timeline that he provided us. Does that make sense? Yeah. This is for you. Okay? This is to, to collaborate all the information you gave. Okay? This is to show that you're credible. You know? All right. Anything else, my friend? Unless you know where the underwear is. No, I don't. I don't know whether they were the shorts or something. I only have you take this little piece of paper with you. Yep. Okay. What do you want me to do? Uh, 1015? Or... Let's, why don't you go ahead and take that and find out. If there's something that we're missing that we can speak to him about here. Nope. I know you're scared, man. I, I know. I haven't yeah. had sex with her. Okay, and that's that's fine. It, doesn't know. it look, if you were, I know, you, know, I know. you'd have to look at it and you'd have and to ask. But yeah. I'm scared to say the short thing. Right. And then, is that why you didn't tell Kyle in the first place yeah, about the shorts? Long. Because you were afraid that we automatically think well, a, a sexual assault would take place? Yeah, then I'm like, oh, okay. But then they're going to be like, oh, what did you have sex with her? Which I mean, this isn't, perfectly, there, isn't there a very logical reason that, like you said, I'm pulling her out. They were ripped off her right away. Well, I mean, that's why yeah. I was afraid. Right. I don't know. It just should never fucking be here. We should, I should have fucking called. Right. And we wouldn't have had to worry about that wouldn't shit. Have, we wouldn't be where we're at today, would we? Yeah. You know, we're going to get through this one way or another, and like I said, I don't decide what your fate and punishment be. Remember when I would talk about that? Yeah. It's taking accountability for what you did. Is that right? You made a mistake, right? Now it's up to you to decide how you want to deal with this. I mean, be remorseful and, and and work with the prosecutor and, and work through this process. Do whatever your punishment would be and then go back home to your family. Oh, and, and you know what I mean? I would like be there for your kids. You know, they're, they're little yet. You have your whole life to spend with them. But I want, Kyle and I have been honest with you, and that's all I was asking is that you've been honest with us. And I feel like I'm on this. Okay. I've got everything out, I feel like. All right. Doesn't it feel good to just... Remember how we talked before, how the truth is so easy to say, but when you lie, you got to think, okay, what did I what did I say? Remember that? Yeah, well, I don't know. Yeah. The truth is so lie. easy. Yeah. And this, this was a horrible thing that happened yesterday. It is, and I feel terrible. Right? Yeah. I, and I believe you. No person, I, I, ever, anyone would feel remorseful about what had happened. We're good? I think so. All right. Okay, I'm going to take Colby next door for a little bit. Just have him kind of, we'll put him in some, some, uh, a, uh, some a jail, you know, jail grains for right now. Just have him relax. We'll, we'll come back figure out what we're going to do, and uh, like I said, Kyle and I will be honest with you about everything that happens, all right? We've got a lot of work to do on this. There's no lie. You know, we have a lot of work left to do on this investigation, so. Sorry about that. That's okay. That's all right. Okay. I, you got scared, but I'm hoping that you told us everything we need to know. I think I've told you everything okay. I still. All right. All right, well, I'm going to take him next door, and then you and I will reconvene.
All right. All right. I'm going to give you this if that's okay. Yep. We can throw this away. Yep. Um, this is mine. All right. Colby Martin was found guilty of first-degree murder and was sentenced to life in prison without the possibility of parole. He was also found guilty of concealing the death of an individual and failure to stop at the scene of a crash when at fault, causing death. Martin had to pay over $11,220 in restitution. If you enjoyed this video and want to support me further, there is a Patreon link in the description where you can do just that. Thank you for watching. Stay safe.